what's your problem, buddy? Hey, sorry, you just kissed me in my mouth. He's joking, he's lucky I ain't sucker for you. No, sorry, I said that on camera. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, everyone. Oh, boy. So, are we going to hear from the gay community about Will Smith slapping <laughs> some gay man? I mean, he looked like he was making a gay move. Are people going to now boycott Men in Black 3 because Will Smith was not down for kissing some strange gay man? Oh, I can only imagine what's going to be said after this one. But I'll tell you something. I think he was well within his right to smack off some douchebag who was trying to make a move on him unsolicited. I read a story some years ago about a kid. Uh, I believe the kid was in, well, I know it was here in California. don't remember what section of Los Angeles it was. Let me see if I can look it up really quick. But the story was that a gay kid came on to another kid who was not gay and it was unwelcome and eventually this turned into a murder. The kid that was being hit on got tired of it. He got tired of this other boy you know, openly flirting with him, you know, making gestures, sexual gestures toward him, that type of thing. Hold on, let me find the story. Okay, here's the story. A California teen who shot an openly gay classmate point blank in the back of the head pleaded guilty to second degree and voluntary manslaughter. Following days of conflict between Brandon McInerney, 14 at the time of the 2008 shooting, and the openly gay Larry King, McInerney took a gun to school and shot King twice. Several teachers had testified that they tried to report that King faced growing tensions with a number of boys at the school, but that school leaders had shunned their efforts. King wore makeup and women's accessories to school and often flirted aggressively with straight boys at school. Prosecutors originally painted McInerney as a homophobic, young, white supremacist, but eventually the hate crime allegation was dropped. So do you guys see like how something so simple can turn into something deadly and how the gay and lesbian community will come out and support anything that a gay person does even if they are in the wrong. No one ever came out and said that this guy who was clearly openly gay, transgender if you will, um was wrong when he was harassing these boys by aggressively flirting with them. The victim in the case we're about to show you was a boy who liked to dress as a girl. But now defenders of the classmate who shot him say the killer was also a victim. Larry King was an eighth grader in Oxnard, California who, like many middle school students, began exploring his sexuality. His English teacher, Don Boldrin, says Larry had learning issues and behavioral issues. After being removed from his adoptive home, he started showing up to school wearing girls' clothes, makeup, and four-inch heels. Uh, on a daily basis, Larry King was sexually harassing Brandon McInerney, and no grown-up did anything about it. He was chasing boys around school with his heels. He was touching himself. He was doing things that are sexual in nature. The defense says Larry humiliated Brandon with his sexual taunts. Somebody said that he went onto the basketball court in front of all Brandon's friends and embarrassed him and asked him to be his valentine. So have we gotten to a point in this country where if you are gay, you get a pass? 
This kid's life is ruined, and I'm talking about the life of Brandon McInerney. Had there been boundaries set on both sides, this never would have happened. This transgender kid, Larry King, was able to walk around in attire that the girls, the actual girls, born females, could not dress in. But they gave Larry King a pass. Why is that? Well, one can only conclude it's because he is gay. And that is special treatment. So if they gave him special treatment there, then you, you can assume that they gave him special treatment when he walked around harassing boys. I am not in favor of bullying. I don't care who is being bullied. I'm not in favor of that. To me, that's what cowards do. And so I do not agree with, you know, kids being allowed to bully this little transgendered boy. However, I also believe that he should not have been allowed to do the same. And unfortunately for him, it cost him his life. A person can only be pushed so far before they snap. That's just human nature. And someone should have put an end to what this boy, what this transgender boy was doing prior to him being shot and killed. I think that the school should have enforced the dress code regardless of the fact that this was a gay boy walking around in women's clothes. The dress code should have been enforced. If he was going to be allowed to wear women's clothes, then he had to dress as the other girls did. No exceptions. If makeup was not allowed to be worn by the girls in the school, why was he allowed to wear it? And why was he allowed to continue to harass these boys who obviously felt uncomfortable and embarrassed with his flirtation? Everyone's so goddamn PC these days, and that is the reason why a lot of this stuff was able to go down without anything happening until the ultimate thing happened. They were afraid to tell this kid not to dress like a fucking hooker. They were afraid to tell this kid not to come to school looking like a girl, wearing makeup, etc. They were afraid of a backlash and look at what happened as a result of that. Now you have one kid dead and another one in prison. We've got to get out of this politically correct, socially correct state of practice. It's killing this country.